So today's video is going to be my, my skin, skin prep, prep routine. routine. Not to be confused with my skincare routine, regardless of what my board says. So I don't do this very often, and mainly because I don't leave my house. <laughs> But whenever something is happening, like a special occasion, an event, New Year's Eve, my birthday, somebody else's birthday, an engagement party, whatever you get me. <laughs> whenever I'm going to be doing the most with my makeup, I also do the most when I'm going to prep my skin for that makeup. I make sure that my skin underneath is absolutely ready for all that makeup and I want my skin to be as prepped as it possibly can be because we all know that makeup just sits differently on really smooth, clean, prepped, moisture dry skin it's just it's just what it is and like I said this is for special occasions I don't do this every time I put on makeup that would be crazy but I also think it's important to know well not important but it's nice to know I never talk about these steps because they're always things that I do before I sit down to film or mainly I'm doing these steps before I'm getting ready to go out and I'm not filming that you know what I mean I never film myself getting ready for like the special occasions in my life because they're very few and far between <laughs> So there's a lot of things I do behind the scenes that you guys don't know about and these steps are one of them So I thought it would be a good idea to sit down and show you guys how I prep my skin before a full face of makeup To make my makeup just look the nicest look the smoothest and it'll also help your makeup last longer If your skin is nice and prepped. That's why I'm not wearing any makeup by the way Thought it would be cool to do this video in kind of two parts I wanted it to be like one giant thing like prepping my skin and then doing the full glam makeup But you know I talk a lot so it would have been a 45 minute video. So I thought I would split this video in two. Today we're just gonna be talking about skin prep. And then in another video, I can do like a full glam makeup tutorial. So if you wanna see a part two, let me know. Actually, I hope you wanna see a part two because I'm literally gonna film it right after this. All right, so let's get into this. I first wanna say, if you are prepping for an event, that's why you're watching this video, and you are gonna go full glam. I also have a how to overdraw your lips video, and I go into lip prep in that video as well. So I will link that video down below because I am currently prepping my lips with my So Juicy Plumping Gloss. So in my opinion, step one is make sure your face is clean. I know that's a given, but makeup does not apply nicely when you got like makeup residue on your face. My daily face wash is the Kiehl's Cucumber Face Wash. I love it. It's amazing for dry skin. And I'll usually use that in the morning and at nighttime. But whenever I'm going to do full glam and I want my skin to look as smooth and as buttery soft as possible, I make sure I exfoliate before I do my makeup. I have issues with my skin texture. Most of the time when something irritates my skin, I don't really get like pimples. I don't get breakouts. I get really bad skin irritation. I get a lot of bumps. And it'll just be a textury hot mess. So exfoliating is definitely the secret to a super smooth looking foundation. And personally for me, I have found that chemical exfoliators are the way to go. But when I really want to get deep down and clean the absolute crap out of my face and exfoliate the absolute crap out of my face, this is what I use. This is the Tatcha Rice Polish. And I honestly was always really afraid to use this because I was always afraid that this was going to dry out my skin. And I'm not going to lie, it's not super hydrating or anything. I do have to do other things after I use this, but this is so great at removing all like the dead skin without being too harsh or abrasive on the skin. And it has really good like non-irritating ingredients. I love this and recently I purchased the calming version when I saw this on Sephora because it was targeted towards sensitive skin. And so I've used this one like two or three times already and I like it. I still have to test this one out a bit further, but I do like it. This one is supposed to have natural Japanese indigo that calms and soothes the skin. So I was super intrigued by that, but I truly love the rice polish and they have a few different ones depending on what skin type you have. And honestly, that is the key to beautiful skin before makeup. But regardless, my skin needs all the hydration it can get. And I also have very sensitive skin. So to me, it's very important to go in with a face mask after I exfoliate. And I don't mean like a glam glow mud mask. <laughs> that would be like a double whammy that's like way too much. I feel like that would irritate your skin. I'm talking about a calming face mask. And by the way, all the products that I'm mentioning in today's video are kind of high-end brands. And you can get these all at Sephora, actually, by the way. This video is not sponsored, but I just realized you can buy these all at Sephora. I want to do my research a bit further and do a drugstore version of this. I don't want to lie and like throw in a drugstore product if I don't really use it. These are the products that I use. But feel free to do this routine at home. Just replace it with whatever products you have. Like, use your favorite exfoliator that you have at home. Use your favorite face mask. You know what I mean? Like, 
do your thing. But the next step is definitely to go in with your calming face mask or your soothing face mask. There are a couple that I have used in the past that I really like. This one is from Origins and it's funny because the other one that I used to use all the time is also from Origins. It's the Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask. I'll put a picture of it right here. It comes in the white tube. I loved that one forever. There's also another one from Ren I really like. But then one day I just purchased this one and I ended up falling in love with it and this is the one I use now. This is the Origins Hello Calm Relaxing and Hydrating Face mask with cannabis sativa seed oil and honestly for me this step is really important because it just minimizes redness it kind of calms the skin especially after exfoliating it just makes the skin feel really really good and it says it's an ultra hydrating face mask infused with natural cannabis sativa seed oil to instantly calm the skin visibly reduce irritation and de-stress the senses and I absolutely agree with that. I feel like this does that 100%. I just apply it with my little face mask brush and I leave it on my skin for about 10 to 15 minutes and instantly my skin just feels so calm. I don't know how to explain it but I love it and I love the way that this smells. It doesn't really smell like how you would think it would smell. I thought it was gonna smell like way too herbally, but it smells like a spa. Oh my gosh, it smells like essential oils. It smells so good. And I just feel so relaxed whenever I have this mask on. The scent is so therapeutic for me. I love this thing. Any tightness I felt from the exfoliating is completely diminished when I take this face mask off. My skin just feels so soft every time I use it and I love it. Okay, so I am a moron and I didn't replace my eye patches before filming this video. So I'm gonna put a picture up of them instead. <laughs> I actually like to do this at the exact same time as my Hello Calm face mask. I always go in with an eye mask. And I really started to notice a difference with eye masks when I got one in a BoxyCharm like one month. I think I got like a Wander Beauty one. I'm not sure, it's, that's not important. But after I had used it the first time, I became obsessed with using like eye patches before glam makeup because it just makes the under eyes so hydrated and beautiful and the concealer just blends so much nicer on, on your under eyes when they're hydrated. Can you imagine that? When they're not super dry and crusty, this concealer looks great. <laughs> and honestly, the eye patches I use are so, so cheap. You can get them at Sephora, but they're the Sephora brand I ones. And honestly, it's because I haven't found one that I'm crazy, crazy obsessed with. In terms of like high end, I love these Sephora ones, but they're five bucks, you know? We are the Sephora Collection eye masks, and I haven't used all of them. I've only used the cucumber one and the avocado one. But you're only spending $5, and they hydrate my under eyes, and they get them ready for concealer. And honestly, that's all I can ask for. If you swear by some under eye masks or some under eye patches that I haven't tried, let me know in the comments below, and I will check it out. Okay, so this next step you don't really have to do. This is just me being extra. But I always go in with my little vitamin nectar water. <laughs> I feel like this is my little hidden gem. I'm not sure if I've spoken to you guys about this product in the past. I like this mainly for the mist. I'm not even gonna lie. This has such a beaut- look at that. Wow, wow. My AC is on, but like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Only a mist you'd see in heaven. It has such a fine mist and it smells so incredibly good. Like delicious, delicious, <laughs> like delicious, is that it again? Like delicious, oh my God. like delicious citrus. Okay. But aside from that, I just feel like it gives my skin an overall minimal glow. I honestly feel like this does make my skin feel more bright and more awake and just more energized. This is one of those products that I just love spraying throughout the day because it's just such a fine mist and it feels so nice and it smells so good, but it also creates a very subtle glow without being too much. And then I would say the last step would be to just go in with your moisturizer, your serum, or your primer. Like if you have very dry skin, you might wanna go in with moisturizer and then primer, but if you have oily skin, you might just wanna go in with your primer after doing all of these steps. I personally like to go in with a moisturizer or a serum. And honestly, this has been like my two-in-one for the past couple weeks. This isn't something I have been using for a long time, so this part is probably bound to change. But these other products I have been using for a hot minute and I love them and these are always the steps I take. But usually right now I'll go in with a moisturizer or with a super hydrating primer, whatever the case. But recently I have been loving the Farsali Liquid Glass Radiance Makeup Skin Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. I have been loving 
anything with hyaluronic acid is like the new thing I feel which helps like retain the moisture in your skin but I like this because it's kind of like a fusion between a serum and a primer it is really hydrating it feels super nice on the skin and I like that it has a tacky consistency like when you're done applying it it feels a little bit sticky not for too long but it has a slight tackiness to it but I feel like it just lays so nicely underneath the foundation it just meshes really well with foundation and I have been using this as a primer and I have really really I've been loving it. I would say at this point I would go in with my foundation and concealer and then do the whole shebang but these are the steps that I take before I do all of that and I know it may seem excessive it may seem like a lot of steps but it's not a lot of heavy steps so I hope this video was helpful in some way let me know if you try this out at home even with the products you have and tell me how it goes but yeah guys that completes this video I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye I will link that video down below because I'm <laughs> maybe this part will change in my skip in my sk so maybe this part it so this part